you know, we're, we're living through a pretty difficult economic times. Uh, many of our cities are suffering. We've talked about this this week. Many of our states are in financial trouble. Our federal government has to figure out what it's going to do to invest and over time reduce the deficit. One of the things that struck me, though, is even though some people say artists are suffering, and, and many, many are, it seems to be that arts flourish in a time of crisis. And, and it's a very interesting way, and maybe it's because artists are so good at mobilizing resources, or maybe it's their commentary that they're giving us the commentary on society, but, but how do you view this time? I mean, there was a boom, and boy, oh boy, that art market was shooting up, and our institutions were doing great, and then all of a sudden in 2008, bang, how have you seen this adjustment, and is it, is it somebody called it arts? I don't like the words arts in an age of austerity. I don't like negative words, but how have you guys seen this adjustment in, in the arts community broadly in this time of economic transition? I think go to Detroit. I mean, mm -hmm. Detroit, I is Detroit. Mm -hmm. right. Detroit is broke. Detroit is broke, and it is one of the most vibrant totally places right. I have visited in the last year because of the influx of artists and creativity and innovation. Buying so a house for $6,000, which artists love. And, and taking entire <laughs> blocks <laughs> and, and turning them into little mini colonies. Now, that's not to say that there are not huge Absolutely. macro economic issues, fiscal challenges for that city and that region, but Detroit, Syracuse, if you look <laughs> at what, I mean, it's amazing what Nancy Cantor at the university there has done in local assets, not, not trying to figure out what to bring in from Washington or some idea in Paris, but building on the assets in that community, it's been a hugely transformative. You know, so we, we love Detroit. My wife, Ron, is from Detroit, and we, her whole family's there. Um, one of our, our sister-in-law, her cousin was the guy who froze the house. Did you see this? Yes, when he yes, poured yes. water, he could buy the house, and he froze the house. So we partnered with a young woman named Kiki Algier, who's a video artist. And we did a five-part series at Atlantic City, which, which was video, videographed there. We went downtown, and we talked to the people. And what they were saying is the crisis gave them space. Yeah. Before, the city had all these big plans, Renaissance Center, this is stadium here, this and that. Finally, you know, that, that top-down driven town with, with so much race and class has permeated it. Finally, it opened up the dialogue in Detroit where city leaders said, we're kind of broke. We don't know what else to do. We try this. And the city building and community building, we were beyond impressed at how wonderful and safe. It was mind-opening for us in Detroit. Um, and it's happening, it's, well, in Miami. Think about what's happened in the Wynwood for, and all the other communities with arts-led. I, I think the other thing about the arts is that it, it, when you have the, all these big programs going on, it, it does kind of get marginalized, but, but art happens in the in-between spaces. It doesn't happen in, in a direct way. The most creative opportunities come about when people find a little niche that they can crawl into. And I think that you see that a lot. Uh, you know, also, artists are great. At, at being kind of the pioneers, and sometimes they take the arrows, of course, but, uh, <laughs> but, but they're the pioneers in, in, in real estate. You see artists uh, leading the way in, in real estate way, way more often than, than developers making good choices. And, and the other thing, uh, that's absolutely right, and the other thing which I think people don't sufficiently appreciate is that with art, it happens fast. Um, you want to build an IT center, <laughs> four or five year build out, build a your manufacturing facility, four years, uh, the art can happen in, in weeks. Um, Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, there was a neighborhood uh, called Over the Rhine yeah. that basically is a police action. You know, it was hookers and crack dealers and, and uh, crime. And they put uh, an art gallery in there. And then there was another art gallery. Now there's some artist housing. Then they opened a theater. Now people are bringing their dates there and walking around on the street uh, because it's a fantastic place to go and hang out. Uh, and that happened like that uh, because, of, because of the arts. One Solely of the, because of the arts. One,